The gentleman from Texas is recognized for five Thank minutes. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, listen, had there been any FISA orders or warrants obtained uh, to assist in the investigation of what happened to January 6th? So I, I, I think it, you can appreciate, Congressman, I, and not in a position to talk about any matters that occur before the FISA court involving the implementation of the... Well, the, the only Act way that we can have FISA. oversight to, dis, to discern whether or not that we should ever allow FISA to continue is if we find out what's been going on. And I was here beginning January of 05. We talked to lots of people from the Justice Department. We were assured nothing but foreign matters were going before the FISA court. So imagine the shock when we saw this uh, order from the FISA court, which basically, well not basically, it says that all call detail records uh, created by Verizon for communication between the United States and abroad, there's the foreign, or wholly within the United States, including local telephone calls, all had to be turned over. And as I understand, there are still orders similar to that that have a big net, and once that information goes into the database of your department, of the DOJ, of the NSA, then there are thousands of people that can access that and have accessed that and done searches. So the question, when you have something that we're told is wholly domestic, that it's the domestic threat that's so serious, it is an important question to know whether you're using something called FISA, where the F stands for foreign, to go after American citizens. Because that, I can tell you, when I was here back in 06 and 08, we were taking these matters up. If people had known how badly that was being abused, there were people back then on both sides of the aisle who would have said, wait a minute, this is just being abused so much. So that's why it's a fair question to know in general, not specific cases, is the FISA court, has it been used to get orders to investigate January 6th? So uh, again, I, I'm not familiar with the order that you ref referred to a moment ago. Well, it was the leaked, I think it was WikiLeaks, and that's what was so shocking to so many of us. And look, the abuses occurred during the Bush administration, the Obama administration. Uh, there were some in the Trump administration. And I feel sure it's still going on. We need to know the extent of that. Well, let me ask you uh, about a, uh, a case. In Kilgore, Texas, uh, a lady there working for a private oil company got a, a text from her nephew. He had been looking through the FBI pictures and said, you recognize anybody in this picture? And it looked similar to her. And she did a LOL, you know, gee, that looks like me. Don't turn me in. A couple of days later, two FBI agents show up at her place of business demanding to know where she was on January 6th. She was in Kilgore, Texas. And then they threatened her boss that he could go to prison for covering for her. Is there any order from any court that allows the DOJ or the NSA to monitor text messages of American citizens? You know, you know, obviously there are court orders, whether they come from federal courts, not the FISA court, or the federal FISA court, uh, that authorize, pursuant to law, uh, search warrants and surveillance. Yes, but search warrants under the Fourth Amendment have to describe with particularity the things to be searched or seized, and that's not happening. That has not been happening. And so when you have no probable cause to go after somebody in Kilgore, Texas, then, you know, we'd heard about, oh, gee, there's software to look for specific words that allow you to go after 
anybody that hasn't committed crimes. We really need to know how widespread that is. Can you give us an answer? Is that being used? It's just really important to point out, sir, that the way the, the law works is that the federal judge, a federal FISA court judge, will only approve an order based on probable cause that an individual is an agent of a foreign Mr. power. Mr. Olson, we have proof the that's a lie. Expired. It has not Mr. been Raskin followed. Mr. Raskin is recognized for five minutes.